Look for Davos Trump to be on the stage behind me uh, later this week. As we're throwing it on Axis this morning, he'll be using his inside voice. He wants to tout a lot the successes of his administration, the growing economy, the great tax bill, but he does not want to go after Democrats at all. This will not be a sort of a campaign style speech where he's attacking his opponents over the things he wants to fight for, such as immigration, such as um, uh, taxes. It'll be right. much more sort of trying to build bipartisanship ahead of the one last thing he wants to get this year before we all go home and run for re-election is infrastructure. Okay, well, let's talk about that. It, the, what, what do you think this infrastructure plan looks like? How detailed will he get? Uh, some numbers have been tossed around, perhaps uh, 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 some federal, uh, federal help, which would look like, I'm, right. I'm told, only about $200 billion, which he's even called small, uh, with, and then trying to create some kind of public-private partnership. But, how, you know, what can $200 billion do? Right. The, the, the drafts of this say they expect $200 billion in public money to encourage a trillion dollars in uh, private money to follow behind it. But, again, we have not seen very many specifics of this at all. We haven't seen any kind of legislative language. And tomorrow night, this will not be a State of the Union address, like in days of old, where presidents would lay out dozens of policy proposals, President Trump is going to take a much higher sort of atmospheric view of it instead of laying out actual specifics. Have you heard, though, from Democrats about the infrastructure plan? Because it, it's fascinating. Democrats have historically uh, wanted infrastructure, and yet the second you start to get into the details and this idea, the second it gets private, actually, they start talking about toll roads being owned by private companies or things like that, uh, it gets complicated quickly. Right. Yeah, a lot of it is like they're waiting for more details on it. Remember, these are just sort of bullet point proposals. I think a key thing to talk about for the bipartisanship on a possible infrastructure deal is remember, we still have to solve immigration and a government shutdown, which is coming back on another couple of weeks. And the last shutdown really poisoned the well between Republicans and Democrats on the hills, which makes me a little less optimistic on a deal on infrastructure. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.